Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today we'll be learning how to create a first person controller. So right now, this is the same I've used before but this time around I'm going to be using a uh, first person controller here. So I'm going to go ahead to right click here and add um, character body. So character body 3D. So uh, the character body 3D enables me to be able to create uh, kinematic bodies that uh, can be able to move like characters. All right, so after putting the character body 3D, the next thing we we'll want to put is the mesh instance. So once we put the mesh instance, we can add, change it to a capsule and uh, we can scale it down. I would like to go to transform and you can go down like that. And pull it down. So you can just leave it there. And the next thing I want to do is to add a collision shape and also turn that to a capsule 3D and make it to size to that particular object. So after doing that, I can just select this and bring this down here. So right now I have this here. So this guy, my camera is going to be attached. So first, let's put the, the first person character controller. So we need to add a camera to this guy here. Camera 3D and that will be what will be in the front here. So if you go in here, you will be able to see uh, the character looking through this particular place. Is gonna be in front of it. Let's be sure we're gonna change this view to two views and be sure that we are working properly. Let's change this guy to this and let's push this back a bit. If I think here should be all right, just exactly in the center. All right, I think this is okay. So let's go back to our one view and I would like to, to collapse this. So the next thing I want to do is to select this character body and I'm going to right click and I'm going to attach a script and my script will be saved inside uh, where I have all my scripts. I have uh, different scripts. I'm going to call this one first person person controller. First person controller. All right, so we'll have this opening and uh, okay, make sure where I am. So make sure you open that and then you create, make sure it's in orchestrator there. So if you know how to, if you want to know how to install it, you can check the other videos right about the inscription to the orchestrator. So you just create that. And the first thing you can be able to just go for is the physics so you can use process I'll get the process here so my process I'm going to um, get my flow which is a while so um, the sequence sorry get the sequence so the sequence enables you to be able to uh, create various sequence of actions that will happen whenever you actually click something so the next thing here I'm going to start with a branch and I'm going to get an action. So right here, I already have my actions in this particular file. So I have my uh, up, left, UI, left, UI, right, UI, up and down. So these are the arrow keys. So first, we want it to be going forward. So let's use the up. And 
is impressed here okay so leave it at first so you can just connect this here so to make this character to be able to move you can right click and go to translate so we'll have um we're going to use our call translate look um, object local so when i get that um i'll just connect this and to make sure that it doesn't pass through the walls i'm going to also use a uh, move and slide just call that and just add it to this place so it makes sure that uh, it's not going to be uh, passing through uh, objects with collision so you can be able to be within this 3d environment so that this 3d environment has uh, collisions at this edges here so that it doesn't pass through them we want them to be able to you know collide with these boxes and that's the reason why we did that so the next thing we want to do is to check the axis here so if you look at this axis i have my my billy as it is z axis this is the positive and forward is actually negative so i'll be using a negative value here to get the z so i'm just going to come in here so my z will be a negative let's try 0 0.3 and see how fast it's going to be so let's go ahead to test this and be sure it's working so i can just go for play the same so I can go forward and you see that it's actually moving forward. So although it's quite very fast, so we can be able to go down to, let's go down a bit to, let's say five. And that should be better. And also make sure that it's actually uh, very much back here. Yeah. Let's try this out one more time and be sure it's working. So I have these here. All right. So right now I want to be able to move backwards and also rotate. So I'm going to go ahead to go back to the orchestrator and I'll drag this out and write another branch and just du duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D, connect this, select that, and change this to oh, UI down. So that is down, right, down arrow. So I can just select these two, hold Ctrl to select both of them, Ctrl D, bring it down, and put this here. And right here, I'll just come in here and uh, change this from minus to plus. That will work. So once the next thing for rotation, so I'm just going to select this while and add another one. I'm going to add a second one, a second one there. So I'm going to go for another branch and duplicate this to this time around. I want to move um, to rotate when I actually press the other parts of it. So rotate and move forward. So we'll have that there. So we'll have um, this going, let's start with the right turn. So we can just go ahead to, because we are selecting this, we can right click and go for rotates. And we're going to be using get um, uh, global rotation. Okay, so we're going to say call global rotate. That's what we're going to be using here. So that's the method we'll be using here. So I'm going to select this and put it here. So we want to rotate it, so we're just going to put one here on the, on the axis we want it to rotate. I'm going to do 0 0.3 first and let's see what it's going to look like. Right click and play. So when I press my right, you see that it's going uh, very fast and so you can go like this. So it depends on wherever you go. If you don't use global rotate, sometimes you rotate and it doesn't uh, work properly. So we're going to reduce it even more. So I would like to reduce this to about uh, 0 0.07 and that should be better. Okay, so we'll have this here, but then it has to be negative. So let's try this out to be very sure. So it's turning and it can go like this and then it stops so you can go like that so I'll close this and 
I'm just going to select this one here, drag this down and go for another branch. And select this, duplicate it. Put this here and I'm going to go ahead to make this to be our UI left. And now duplicate this two and put this here. So for this one, it's going to be a positive value. And just play that. So you have these here. So I have um, this being able to actually move around here. So that's basically how you can be able to create a first person uh, controller that you can be able to control and it works very, very effectively to you know, wherever you want it to, to go. So you can be able to tweak this and you know make it to respond to whatever you want it to be. It can be able to collide with all these things, okay? All right, so this is all for the control for the first person controller. Please do like and subscribe to my channel like the video, share it with people and um, and you can comment on other things you want me to create. See you in the next video.